In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to finish creating this internal thread profile to be used in a swept cut thread. As you recall, we created this initial thread profile from the assembly by using the insert mold cavity command. And then we used an intersection curve to create these three lines. And now I want to finish the thread profile. I would like a gap between the internal and external threads as they would be in the real world. So first I'm going to select these edges while holding control. After I've selected all three, I'm going to release control and I'm going to convert these to construction geometry. Next, I'm going to offset them a little bit so there'll be a gap between the internal and external thread. So I'm going to come up to offset entities. I'll set the amount to 2000 and I will select the chain. So I'll select this entity, this entity, and then this entity and right click to accept it. And as you recall, these are converted entities. So next I'll grab this endpoint here and I'll drag it. I just need to zoom in a bit more. So I'll grab that endpoint there and just drag it and drop it. I want it to be a bit longer. And I'll do the same thing up here. I'll grab that endpoint and I'll drag it over here and I'll drop it. Then I'm going to use mouse gestures to activate line. And I'll create a line from this endpoint to this endpoint and push escape. So I've closed my sketch and I see I have a bit of a problem here, but I'll fix that in a second. I'll select this line and make it vertical. And I'll zoom out and click here. And the other thing I need to do is make this fully defined and I want to watch did these two points join and they didn't. So that's fine. I'll select that point, hold control, select this point, release control and tell it to merge points. The next thing I'll do to make my sketch fully defined is use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. I'll select this converted endpoint and this edge here, move over, click, and I'll again, I'll make that distance 2000. I now have a fully defined sketch. I'm just going to fit my geometry to the screen. I'm going to exit my sketch by right clicking and selecting exit sketch. And now I have my thread profile I can use in the sweep cut command. 